Hey cleaning family, it's Carolyn Arellano, your cleaning business mentor. And in this YouTube video, I am going to teach you how to win contracts with luxury apartment buildings. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all my subscribers and anyone that has ever left a comment or any feedback on my videos. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Now, in this video, I want to talk about how to land contracts in luxury apartment buildings. We actually service a few different luxury apartment buildings in a couple of different areas that we service. And one of the reasons why I truly, truly love working with these specifically luxury apartment buildings is because they have the budget for the cleaners. Now we are not cheap by any means. We are very detailed with our cleaning and therefore we provide value. And our customers understand the value that we provide. Now I have worked with other apartment complexes in the past and they just didn't seem to have the kind of money that we needed to pay our cleaners to do a good job. So what we did was we shift our focus from regular apartment buildings to luxury apartment buildings. My thought behind the process was that they were going to have the budget for the type of cleaning services that we provide. If you guys haven't seen my video on how to clean luxury apartment buildings, please be sure to check that out. I'm going to link that in the description of this video. Now in that video that I posted a few months back, it's pretty much a walkthrough of one of these luxury apartment buildings that we clean. You know, it's a how to video per se on how to clean, how to clean properly and how to clean efficiently. So if you're interested in that, again, please be sure to check out the link down below in the description. Move in move out cleaning contracts are actually considered commercial cleaning. However, for me, I see it as a perfect hybrid of both commercial and residential. Now, it's considered commercial cleaning because you are doing business to business, right? You are cleaning for a commercial property, aka property management companies and owners of these properties. Now, it's also somewhat residential because you are cleaning an empty apartment, right? People have lived there before and you are cleaning a home. So that is why I consider it to be like a hybrid or like the perfect combination of both residential and commercial cleaning. If you guys are interested in learning all about move in, move out cleanings, be sure to check out my ultimate move in, move out cleaning course down below in the description. One of the main reasons that I love seeking out contracts with luxury apartment buildings are because they are year long contracts, just like commercial cleaning contracts. So we are signed up for one year of doing service with one or multiple apartment buildings, depending on how many uh, the property management company have that you will be dealing with, right? So for example, a couple of the property management companies that we work with have more than one apartment complex. And that is where you are really gonna get that volume. So although they don't give you a set amount of apartments uh, each and every month, for my business with the buildings that we work with we average anywhere from three to 11 apartments per complex now the slowest months that we have had we've at least had a minimum of two apartments per building now that might not seem like a lot there are going to be slow months because sometimes people won't be moving in or won't be moving out or they might even have a slow season right for that exact um, type of business however when the months are busy, they are busy. I mean, we're really, you know, sometimes it's hard to keep up with all the apartments that they're giving us. But that is one of the reasons why I really, really love seeking out these types of contracts with the luxury apartment buildings. And that's something to consider. Now, how do I find these luxury apartment buildings, you may ask? Number one is, of course, my favorite, make a spreadsheet. Go into Google or use some type of data scraping website where you can actually find this information and you don't have to do it manually. Now, if you want to do it manually, what you simply do is go into the Google search and search luxury apartment buildings in and then put the name of the city and state that you want to service, right? So if it's in Manhattan, New York, you're going to type in Manhattan, New York then and there you should have a full page of luxury apartment buildings in that specific city 
Now, all you have to do is put that information over into a Google sheet. Um, you know, make sure you have the company name, the email address, the phone number, what else? The website, that's something good to have. That way you can actually go back to it and see what type of different units that they have. And we'll talk about that a little bit later on in this video. You want to gather as much information as possible in the different areas. So I usually do about three or four different tabs, so four different cities. And I'll try to come up with at least 10 or 15 different apartment, luxury apartment buildings in those areas. Now, once I have all that information, I'm going to do two things, or rather you're going to do two things. Number one is pick up the phone and cold call. Okay. I know it's not as like super comfortable. We're not all really great at it, but you can come up with a little script and just call, call and ask to speak to the person that is in charge of the cleaning, you know, give them an introduction. You can say something along the lines of, hi, my name is Carolyn. I work with a local family owned commercial cleaning company and we specialize in move in move out cleanings for a luxury apartment buildings you can say something along the lines of we happen to service a few other buildings in the area if that's true of course because they always might pull up those receipts but just let them know that you specialize in these types of cleanings right and ask them if they'd like a free quote and try to set up a walkthrough with the person in charge, whether that is the leasing office or the property management owner themselves. Not able to get in contact via telephone, send them a cold email. Now, if you weren't able to grab that information off of Google, during that phone call, when you're talking to someone at that facility, be sure to at least get an email address, even if they don't wanna connect you. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna send them a cold email introducing your company okay you're going to give them a little short brief you know introduction and then you're going to attach your capability statement for your business now if you guys do not have a capability statement i will be sure to put a link down below of the description of this video so that you guys can download one and fill out the blanks you would be surprised how many people actually reply back via email in this email, you're going to have a brief introduction of your company, letting them know that you specialize in move in, move out cleaning of luxury apartment buildings, specifically in those areas. Let them know that you want to provide a free walkthrough and would love to be able to do business with them. Now you want to do that for every single contact that you put together in that spreadsheet. So I would say just do all the phone calls first, gather any extra information that you might not have gotten from the website. Nine times out of 10 though, you will have a email address. Secondly, go ahead and send that cold email out introducing your company and be sure to attach that capability statement. Now a third way to contact the client could be simply by visiting the actual building. Now this is actually what I have done and I've had the most success with is just grabbing some flyers, making sure I have my uniform on, you know, looking decent, have my hair done, have everything together. And I walk into the luxury apartment buildings and I always look for the leasing office because that is where you're gonna be able to, nine times out of 10, get in contact with the person that is in charge of the cleaning. So I will take my marketing materials, walk into the leasing office and give an introduction to myself and the company. Again, I usually say, hi, my name is Carolyn. I work for a local commercial cleaning company that specializes in move in, move out cleanings. I wanted to know if you guys were looking for cleaners. Now, sometimes they'll say, you know, oh my gosh, actually we do need cleaners, um, which is great, though you can set an appointment right there on the spot. Um, sometimes they will tell you that they have people in-house cleaners, right? But I'll tell you this, don't let that discourage you because half of the time that they say they have in-house cleaners, they mean they're maintenance men, all right? And there are going to be times where, and this has happened to us, we will get phone calls from these companies saying that, you know, their maintenance men are tired of it because really it's not their job, right? They're not there to clean, they're there to repair things. And there are also going to be times when these businesses are just overwhelmed with too many apartments that even their in-house team can't keep up. So don't feel discouraged if somebody tells you, oh, no, thank you, we already have a cleaning team. Say, okay, that's awesome, that's fantastic, but can I please at least just leave my information with you so that if you guys ever do get bombarded with a number of cleanings that can't get handled by your business, that's where we can step in. 
And also, you know, always follow up. Just because this company doesn't need your services right away doesn't mean that you shouldn't be calling, emailing, and visiting again in another three to six months. Keep in mind that if a company tells you that they don't need your cleaning services right then and there doesn't necessarily mean that they won't need you in the future. They could simply be locked in to a current contract. They could have an in-house cleaning team, but as many of you know, anything can happen in business, right? People can get sick, people get overwhelmed, they might need you, but unless you stay on top of their mind, then they're not gonna know who you are. So be sure to follow up. Now, a fourth method that we have used is actually sending direct mail. Now, I have tried EDM in the past, Every Door Direct Mail, where we paid a company to make really cool flyers and you know send them out for us, and that was like really fancy and stuff. However, that does cost a lot of money, and there is another method of doing that, which is simply taking that same exact email template that, again, I will provide down below in the description and printing that out so physically printing this out right and this was actually spoken in a previous video that i did with my very good friend dave from dave's cleaning consultant so i'll be sure to also link that down below however you can take that mailer that i'm talking about and physically mail it go get yourself a you know a box of envelopes go grab your stamps uh, if you have a computer at work or home print out a bunch of the same kind of like generic um, mailer that I'm talking about, put a stamp on it and put it in the mail, okay? This is so effective. And again, I have an entire video talking about physically mailing mail. I'll link it down below. But I just wanted to give you guys a number of different ways to get in contact and find these luxury apartment buildings, right? Step one, as we said, make your list of contacts. Um, I did mention that you could simply go on Google, but I also did want to give you guys a name of a website if you wanted to just pay for the information because maybe you just don't have the time. Now that website is called outscraper.com and I'll put a link in the description um, of this video for you guys. So you can either pay for it or manually just get the information, but gather that info, give them a call, send them a cold email, go in there in person, send them physical mail and keep doing that. This is a long game. They might not need you now, but they will hopefully eventually need your services, right? And um, also just keep in mind that when you are landing these walkthroughs and whatnot, also take a look, look around at the common areas, right? So you can offer them the move in, move out cleaning, but then also think about the common areas, routine janitorial, carpet cleaning, window cleaning, um, snow removal, you know, all of these different services that you could possibly be providing, don't short yourself on the upselling. Right? Our foot in the door is always basic cleaning. We always need to upsell. Let's say you do land a walkthrough. First and foremost, I'm gonna tell you, please make sure you do your research on the company. If there is a website, which there should be for a luxury apartment building, check out what kind of units they have. So go there prepared. Do they have studios? Do they have one bed, one bath, two bed, two bath? Those are usually like the three um, different like apartment layouts. I haven't really ever seen any three bed, two baths or so like, you know, anything bigger than that. But take a look at their website, see what kind of apartment layouts they have, write down the square footage. And when you land that walkthrough, make sure to ask to see every single different apartment type because not only will the square footage change, but the layouts might change. So you wanna take your measurements, you wanna take your pictures, and be sure to fully understand what this company expects of you. So their scope of work, right? There are gonna be questions that you absolutely should not miss out on. And those types of questions, I'm actually gonna share with you in this video. And they should be questions like, do you want the inside of the cabinets, which is pretty standard, right? With the move in, move out clean. But you wanna ask, do you want the top of the cabinets? Do you want the inside of the washer? Do you want the inside of the dryer? Do you want the inside of, and so forth and so forth. Again, I have a whole video on like how to do a move in, move out clean. So definitely check that out, but understand the scope of work, right? And when it comes time to bid these cleans, um, you're probably gonna underbid yourself. I always say that in like almost every video because I've done it <laughs> multiple, multiple times and I still do it. Um, but with time, you're gonna learn your clean times, right? So
you go in there, just think to yourself, okay, this studio, how long would it take one of my cleaning technicians or myself to clean? Okay, I think this would take me four hours, add another one, because I'm sure we're going to underbid. So about five man hours, right? How long would it take to do a two bed, two bathroom? Okay, this might be like six or seven man hours, depending on the scope of work, right? It's going to change depending on what they want. Do they want you to do behind the fridge? Do they want you to do behind the oven, so forth and so on? But pretty much that's how you're going to bid the job. You know, how long do you think it's going to take times your hourly rate, you know, and all that good stuff. So now you have the proposal ready for them. Make sure that, you know, all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted. And then you're going to go ahead and submit that proposal. I also just want to let you guys know that from my own experience, you are going to be expected to have at least a million dollars in liability insurance. They are going to want to see your workman's comp insurance. And they're going to ask you, of course, for a W-9 form to be filled out. So be sure that you are prepared with those three items when bidding on luxury apartment buildings. If you guys are interested in learning exactly how to land these luxury apartment cleaning contracts and exactly how to clean each and every room with checklists and proposal templates, be sure to check out the link in the description of this video. <coughs> if you guys found this video educational and informational, please be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. Also be sure to hit that notification button so that you're notified each and every time I upload a new video each and every time I upload a new video.